Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. This is Pamela, and you are watching Pam Entertainment TV, where we review movies, television series, and incidents in pop culture to see how those incidents may or may not affect our daily lives. Listen, we are here. I made it. I watched uh, House of Dragons, The House of Dragon, uh, full first season in a week and a half. I took my time because I wanted to watch each episode and understand what was going on. So I have done that. And so now we're getting into episode two. Now, the last episode that I watched at the last ending, uh, the Green Queen, um, I can't think of what her name is, Alicent, excuse me. Alicent and the court made her son, Aegean, the king, uh, outside of the wishes of the king, Viserys. Now, we also have to understand and know that he uh, he was basically a shell of a man. And when I say shell of a man, I mean shell of a man. He apparently had some kind of uh, poisoning or some kind of sickness from sitting on that iron throne. Because I remember it pricked him and then like his whole, his finger looked like it was rotting off and then the rest of it is. So he had been in delirium and he had been uh, drinking the, uh, the milk of poppy. So they were trying to make sure to keep his uh, pain uh, low because they were really just cutting pieces out of him at one point. I mean, he had lost a whole eye. He had lost a finger. He had part of his hand was rotting off. He was smelling bad. You know, they had to burn incense. It was a whole lot of stuff going on with him. But while he was dying, he had told uh, Allison that Aegean uh, was to be king, but he wasn't talking about her son. He was talking about the past king. And he was talking about um, apparently these uh, zombies that are going to be that were in Games of Thrones. I have not watched Games of Thrones, but he has told this story about fire and ice. He has told it to his daughter, Reneas. She understands the whole thing. But Allison misunderstood and thought he was talking about her son. So she did everything that she needed to do to put her son on the throne. Now, her son is on the throne. She is trying to gather as many allies as she can uh, with, the, with the son being on the throne. Uh, she, uh, Renea sends her son to, um, I think it was the Strongs? No. Anyway, she sent him to another kingdom to get their alliance. And then um, Allison's other son, the one that got his eye taken out, he was there with his with the dragon with the biggest dragon and the little boy was there just to be an envoy to give the message since the since the king there said no uh they're going to side side with the greens and the um the green tagerins tagaris house tagerin tagaris the little boy was riding back to let his mom know what happened and then that fool who could not control that dragon uh messed around and that dragon killed the little small dragon, thus killing the little boy. He just basically fell to his death. So that's where we left it at as her see knowing that her son is dead. He didn't try to fight that boy. He was that he was just delivering a message. So that's where we're ending up. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to watch it in real time. Um let me see. I don't have it playing for y'all. <clears throat> So I'm gonna watch it in real time, but I'll go back if this, if the recording from this point on is uh, uh, with the sound or something like that, I definitely will just cut that out and get down to the end of what I, what I think is going to be um, thing. So I just have this picture up, so you shouldn't be hearing anything. Let's see. Let's go ahead and play. Right now they're just going back over the um, the recap of last season. And Christen, Chris was uh, Sir Christian. And girl, this this woman married her uncle. I, I, I the the level of incest, the level of marrying cousins over cousins and stuff like that. That level of stuff is just mind boggling to me. I don't believe in none of that stuff. But here we are. The Greens are a little ruthless to me. They just a little ruthless. But I guess that's how you gotta be, y'all. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Because we are sitting here uh, watching the first episode together. I don't even know how to do it. I, I hadn't done a watch along in so long. Uh, so let me know down in the comments. Has anybody read the books? Because I know that there's been some, um, you know, just for, for movie purposes and I guess to make it look um, 
they have changed a lot of stuff. And that's that's pretty that's pretty standard that they change little different things for from the book and everything. But if you all have read the book, uh let me get over this way. Have you all read the book? And uh tell me what changes that you saw from reading the book. Because this is this is all interesting to me. And uh I missed you all on the Game of Thrones. Uh, because by the time anything popped off with that, I think it was like um Games of Thrones and uh, The Walking Dead and the uh, Breaking Bad era of television. I missed all of that. So I said, well, let me just watch this House of Dragon to see what's going on, to see what the hype is. And I see what y'all like in the thing because it's fantastical. I would love to see a, a piece like this uh, out of space, an outer space like period piece drama with black folks. I would love to see that. That would be that would be so great. Ooh, it looks very sober. I wonder where we're at. We're in a flood of trees. Is this the greens? Is this where the greens are from? Is this the high towers? Beautiful hillside. This is interesting. Where are they at? And who are these people? I know they're from the north, and I know that like I remember like Jon Snow went to the north to guard the gate. Is this where they're at? That's all. I, I don't know very much about Game of Thrones, but I do remember that. There's the wall. That looks like Renee's son. I wonder how long it took for them to build this wall. Renee's is doing is 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 at least doing a decent job of shoring up her um her army. She has the navy behind her, and they're gonna block it. They're gonna block the um, the trade and stuff. That's gonna snuff them out. But she needs she needs a bigger army that's gonna do that's gonna fight. They're gonna tell him his brother's dead. He had to go back. His brother is dead, and I know Renaris is sick. They're gonna try to kill the big dragon. Oh, she went to go find the baby's body. That was not her fight to do. She said that. <laughs> Cause you're not the king, Damon. You the king, you the prince consort. She is the queen. Did she find a baby body? Yeah, now it's time for you to grow up. All them little antics you did when you were younger. I just feel like Corliss ain't gonna make it this round. You know, he he skirted death for a very long time, and he just doesn't give me like he gonna make it this time. All right now, Alan, you better use that indebtedness like you need to. You don't drag that man out to sea while he was out there fighting, got his neck cut. I will tell you, the scenery is just, I guess because I like the green, you know, because I garden and do all that stuff. But the scenery and the trees, all that's beautiful. And then we get into all this stone and coldness. Look at the high towers. Everything looks cold. Uh-oh, somebody's coming. You think that's Damon coming? So he's the new king now. Is she his sister and his wife or just his sister? Oh, you talked about Renee's and now you're doing the same thing. Ooh, the hypocrisy. The hypocrisy. And see, he's going to fall in love with you and he's going to want you to make him king. Or he's going to want you to do something for him and you're not going to be able to do it, girl, Miss Allison. And what you going to do with the foot fetish man? Because he's the one that's dangerous. When he thinks that his foot fetish can't be, um, you'll be surprised what he's about to unleash on you, girl. See, he loves it. He 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 loves to be, quote unquote, the de facto king. He's king without actually being king. He makes all the decisions and everything like that without actually being king. And he loves it. Because if he makes the wrong move or the wrong thing, it's the king's fault. Ooh, I can see why this line went down. Because these are some foolish people. Uh, you got the high towers that want to be in charge, but then they're then they have children that you know. Yeah, see, he he likes to assert his power over little people. So there's already a because uh, uh, Damon, y'all remember Damon went down to the basement and he was messing with some other dragon. Is that dragon bigger than um the dragon that they have? 
Oh, so he done got rid of the spies and put his own spies in. He ain't slick. I see through him. He done put his own people in to spy on them to get to get all the information. You ain't gonna find his body, but you found the the, the dragon wing. That's her baby's clothes. Oh. I feel bad for her, but you gonna have to you gonna have to get it together because they they looking for you, boo. Aegon the Magnag. Child, please. Cause this boy had his father and his brother killed so he can live like he's he's not gonna be a good king. We'll take that iron off the damn um throne. All that iron on the iron throne, take it. Mold it together so y'all can have some more. All that iron through the castle. Boy, I tell you, that, that little rat right there, he is in everything. He's like a rat in the cupboard. He just comes out just enough to think that he's harmless, but he's in there behind the walls doing all kinds of damage. A mess. No, they don't pursue, you all don't pursue the same end. Because if he could swing it, he would get rid of all of y'all and he'd be king. He'd make himself king. Amen. Aired. He didn't. Well, he got the boy eye. He killed him. I don't understand how he going to get somebody's eye. He done took the whole body. Yeah, if y'all going to win because y'all don't y'all y'all have killed Renee's son. Amen has killed uh, Renee's son, a a a a whatever his name is. He's killed that, that woman's son and you know she going to come for revenge. You played your hand. You should have never let people know that you were the white worm, but you know, that got good to you. You should have had a step, somebody to stand in for you. Damon running around blaming everything. He wants to get out there and fight, but they, those people know how you fight, Damon. So you're going to have to come up with a strategy. She had to do what she had to do. Let's see what she says now. Baby, he took her son. She want his son back, child. That's what she want. Your granddaddy, your daddy, now your brother gone. Or your other daddy, too. But he's not really dead, but I'm just saying. Ooh, and that, that girl did predict beware of the rats. She's afraid of the rats. Because that lady, that uh, uh, the white worm, she's going to tell it all. But all of her people have been misplaced. But she is about to tell it all. And that means that somebody's going to go into that house and kill him. A mess, a mess, a mess. Y'all better clean that wax up. Melt it back down and put some more uh, wicks in it because uh, y'all on rations right about now. You better light a candle for that boy. Your son done killed that man about his eye when your son started everything in the first place. Because Renee is like she's going to burn everything down. She's going to take some dragons and burn everything down. That's the way it feels. Lord, he is going to go into the castle. He is always doing some shady, uh, crazy mess. Ooh, Damon, no, he can get down there in that darn underbelly. Ooh, he can get down there in that underbelly. See, the only thing I don't like about this is that, that these types of people will play both sides to the middle. He'll take your money, and then he'll tell, uh, he'll tell Amon that somebody is coming to get him. You know, they'll take both sides. They'll play both sides to the middle. It's always the people who sit on the throne that don't really want the throne. Like his grandfather doesn't seem like he wants the throne. You know, the brother doesn't want the throne. He wants the throne, but it's because he was the second born. He doesn't get the throne. He might be ended up, he might mess around and kill his own mama. He just gives me those vibes. And Damon is looking for him. He has more of Damon in him than, than, than the hand realizes that. Because he knows that uh, he can control uh, Aegon, but he can't control Aemon. And this is going to be interesting because the, the rats and the spies have changed in the house. It's not the same people. Is that the sewage and filth from the... Oh, Lord, are they going into the dragon pit? Who they got me nervous. Where are they going? They just walk into the court and ain't nobody said anything to them? Well, they just walked in and nobody paid them any attention. They just walked by and went on about their business. Nobody is paying them any attention. Now I'm getting nervous. They go to rats. Y'all just don't know. Oh, he done kicked the dog. Lord, he done kicked the dog. See, he's too impulsive. He is too impulsive and he's going to mess up the whole plan. 
because uh, plain folks just don't walk upstairs. That's where they, ooh, child, this is too stupid for me. He is too stupid. You just don't walk up the stairs. That's just dumb. And then you don't have any plan. And you don't think somebody here, ooh, 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 ooh. And he just stealing? Okay, this is too much. I, I'm about to, because see, he's just doing way too much. What is? What are they doing? You about to die. She's going to go tell Clubfoot. She gone. Because she knows that better than you. This is going to be something. This is going to be something, y'all. Nope, she's not going to give up her king that easily, child. Lord, where is she running to? Girl, what is you stopping for? Just keep running. Is that it? Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. So they killed the little prince. You remember the little guy that was in the uh, the throne room with his father? So they killed him. They cut that boy's head off, but that wasn't the person who they needed. They needed uh, Amon. And so they killed the child. And that's not what she asked for. And see how Damon messed up? If he was going to do that, he should have done it himself. He shouldn't have sent people in there being greedy with money. An absolute farce. So what did y'all think about season two, episode one? Child, a mess. Let's see if they're going to give us some uh, after credits or whatever. Let's see if they're going to do that. A mess. A mess, y'all. A mess. I don't I don't blame Reneas. Uh-oh, what's going on? Looks like episode two is gonna be good. Sorry, y'all. They just had the uh, uh season two uh previews up here. So let's just kind of go over it really quick. Uh again, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you subscribe, you'll be open to a plethora of videos that I have completed. So listen. Just my thoughts. Y'all let me know. These are just my thoughts for what's going on right now. Uh, it pretty much was like an eye for an eye. You killed my son, I killed your son. Uh, Renee has had to go out and grieve and actually see that her son was dead. She needed physical proof to show that her son was dead. And finding that uh, wing of the dragon, of his dragon, uh, gave her confirmation. And she wanted Eamon's head. And... Uh, de uh, What's his name? Damien, Damius, whatever his Danaeus, whatever his name is. He's always him and Amon remind me they they are like two sides of the same coin. They're always uh, uh, rushing into battle because they know that they're good warriors, but they don't have any war sense. They're just trying to get stuff done. And uh, Damon has now caused uh, them to be alerted that there are people who are who are amongst their court that are not. Um, for them. So we see this and we see that it's evident for that. And uh uh now they have killed uh Agent's Agent's son. Wrong person. They should have killed uh uh his brother, the king's brother, but they ended up killing the king's son. So now we have to uh see what that's going to bring and Damien has he's just undermined everything any type of planning any type of stuff he's undermined it because he's not wanting to sit down and strategize he thinks because he is an ultimate warrior which he is that he don't have to sit down and strategize uh all while she was gone he was wanting to go off and and start the war and do I mean start fighting and everything like that without having any type of plan and you see that uh Eamon and and sir um getting his mama draws. I can't think of his name right now. Him him and, and Eamon are sitting down making plans and the hand doesn't like that because, you know, the hand likes to be involved in everything and the hand likes to, um, he likes to play king when he's not king. He wants to rule, but he doesn't want to have to have all the, uh, um, the consequences behind ruling. All he can say is I'm the hand of the king and the king wanted this. And this is what I, this is what the king wanted, even though the king didn't know anything about it. You remember last season, 
That's what he was doing. That's how he was ruling. He was basically saying that because he was the hand of the king, the king wanted this, these things to be done. But in actuality, it was him being the ruler. So we see that. We, we, we see them playing strategies now in this war. We see Corliss uh, has come back. He has his fleets. His fleets are doing a really good job with the blockade. But they introduced this new character uh, who was the person that uh, saved him from basically death. So I am wondering what that type of relationship is going to lead. Is he going to see him as the son he should have had? Or is this man going to be an ally or is he an enemy within? I don't know. Uh, we see Corliss's wife, um, the queen that should have been queen. She's doing her job. She's resting. She's not going to do no more and she's not going to do no less. We see the king is really, uh, uh, he is really not suited. He wants to party. He wants to do that. And I blame his father for that because his father should have, instead of just uh, making it seem like he was never, ever going to be king, he should have trained him to be king. He shouldn't have just said that Reneus was going to be queen and uh, you still need to prepare for that. He never did do that. So now he's just like, he's the king. He's got his friends that, that sit next to him and they drink beer and they, you know, they lay on the iron throne and all of this other stuff. And I see him falling the wayside of his father uh, getting sick because he's not being very careful on how he's sitting on that throne. He's being quite lackadaisical. And what we see is that's how his father was. He wasn't being very careful about sitting on that throne and, and them little swords was pricking him and all this other stuff and he got doggone what looked like gangrene to me i'm not really sure what that little illness was but that's what he had um i see alicent is playing uh uh she seems like she she wants um to to honor her, her dead husband with the wishes that he has however uh her son aim uh and I, I, I'm going to be mispronouncing these names. I know it's, I, I, I'm going to be mispronouncing those names. I'm just going to have the names in front of me because I can't remember names. I can tell you what they look like, but the, remembering the, all of these names right now is going to be a big issue for me up until probably like after the next episode. And I'll remember all their names because they all sound the same. Aegean, A Amen, all of them are sounding the same to me, but I'll get their names. So uh, the second son, her second son, is the one, the one that had no eye. I should call him Sapphire since he's got that Sapphire in his eye. But old Sapphire is out here like Damon just being a rogue. And they, they're not trying to wheel him in. And then the hand came in on him and um, uh, Allison's uh, lover boy making plans or trying to make strategies up to try to end this war. And the hand is not, you know, like I said, the hand wants to be in control of everything. He wants to be king. He wants to be king, but he has to control everything. He wants to be able to control everything. So we're going to see what happens next thing. So just watching it. This is just a watch along. How y'all feeling about the House of Dragon season two, episode one? Uh, do they name these episodes? I have to go back and check because I've closed out that tab. Uh, I don't know if they name these episodes. They do name these episodes. I don't know why this episode hasn't been named yet. But anyway. Y'all, please like, comment, and subscribe. What did y'all think about this uh, first episode? It was a very interesting episode to me. It, uh, Like I said, it was just... Um, Reneas has got to get back on her footing. She's got to get back on her footing, and she's got to get, you know, she's mourning, she's upset. She's got to get back on her footing, and she's got to let her counsel advise her, and she's got to let her counsel get it so she can win this war. I'm wondering if they're ever going to win this war. We're going to see. All right, people, we, we're going to do this every week. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Uh, I may try to do one of these episodes live, and I may try to get one of my uh, mutuals to we watch it together because uh, and see if she'll be uh, in an assistance to help me with some of the stuff that I'm not seeing in regards to the Game of Thrones because I have not watched that. All right, people, we do this every week. Please tell a friend, tell a kin, tell your coworker, tell that heifer that you can't stand that I'm over here making these videos, y'all. And as always, people, bye-bye.